Hi there all and welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about how we can run some reports uh, within Business Central. Um, so there's a few different ways that you can generate reports within BC. Uh, in fact, I guess there's a few ways that we can generate reports externally to BC as well. And uh, we will get around to um, doing some videos on some of the different ways um, that you can run reports. Um, but for today, um, I'm just going to focus on reports that you can run within BC. Um, and these are specifically reports such as, uh, for example, your um, invoice layout, the aged accounts um, receivable, the customer top 10 list. So this is just data that sits within Business Central, reports that we get out of the box that we don't need to do any building or any modifications for. Um, we can just run them in our BC environment. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just search for a report. And uh, I guess what we'll do is search for the aged accounts receivable. Um, so I'm just going to pop this um, on screen right now. You'll notice I can bookmark this. I don't have a bookmark at the moment, um, but I can bookmark this if I want to show it on my home screen here. Um, but for now, I'm just going to run um, the action here for aged accounts receivable. And um, you'll notice um, I get a, a page pop up here. Um, and this page is what we call um, in BC a report request page. Um, and I've got a few fields up at the top here. Um, tells me the um, printer here that we're going to set up to use um, in conjunction with this report, I guess. Um, I'm not sort of, um, I'm not too sure people print reports these days that much, but we can print it if we need to. We can set up printers in uh, another area of the system. Let me just say select from full list here. Um, we can go to another area of the system and uh, just set up some printers where we can print to if we want to do that. But I guess for a report like this, um, for the age accounts receivable, you can just um, generate that within BC. You can send to Excel. Um, we'll see um, sort of more on that in a second. Um, so you do also have the report layout drill down here, which if I click the um, assist edit here, that will give me um, a look up to the report layouts page where if we did have other report layouts um, linked to the aged accounts receivables report in Business Central, we could use those other layouts if we need to. And uh, don't forget, you can set default layouts on the report layouts page. Um, there is another video um, on the uh, on the YouTube channel for that if uh, you guys wanted to watch through. Um, but just moving down now, um, if I come into the options area here, we get a bunch of options here that we can use to define the output of our report. Um, so I can say aged as of um, a particular date. Um, I can age by due date, posting date or document date. So just basically gonna choose some options here that drive how I'm going to see the data that's generated in this report. Um, so I'm not gonna go through each one of these guys, I guess, um, in a sandbox environment. Have a play with this and get comfortable with the options area of your report. Obviously, the options area here does vary from report to report. You know, you're not gonna be able to set the same filters across all reports in Business Central because different reports look at different data sets, therefore require different filters, right? Um, and then if I come down to the bottom here, I can add some further filters. So um, I've got a little look up here that says filter on the customer, right? So uh, here I can see the um, BC report request page has got the number field added in already. So if I drop down here, this is the number field on my customer table here, guys. So uh, I can see here I've got my customer list. I can scroll up and down. I've just got some uh, demo customers added in here. I can also say select from full list and that takes me to um, a diet view of my customers list and I can choose uh, a customer filter here if I want to. So you can put in customer number ranges, you know, so I can say 10,000, for example, dot, dot, 30,000 and all those types of filters. As you can see there, it's uh, building up the list in the background. So all those sorts of filters are respected when uh, we're, we're running reports here um, from the report request page. 
Um, equally, if I want to, let me just remove this, um, I can add any other filter which I have available here on the customer table. So I'm just scrolling through some of the fields here so you can see we've got a whole bunch of fields that you can filter on when you're running the aged accounts receivable report. So I guess it doesn't really make sense to filter on all of these because I guess you wouldn't just, um, you just, you just wouldn't do that, you know, but you can, for example, if I start typing here, I can run the um, aged accounts receivable report based on the payment method code of my customers if I wanted to. So uh, it's just to show you there that I can run my report by applying different filters on my customer table. So I can choose the data set for which I want to run my report using this lower filter area here. Um, so the difference between these sections here, options defines how the report runs but filter is filtering the data on which the report is running. And then I also have uh, some filter totals by, so I can add some other filters in here. Again, all of these might not apply to the report that we're running, but I've got my, uh, my customer group and my department, which are my global dimensions in this environment. But then I also have some currency filters, date filters and ship to filters there if I want to apply those. And if I go down to advanced here, there is some uh, some information in here. Um, it's fairly new this, but I think it's just in here to uh, stop a report running on um, for uh, an extended duration. So for an extended period of time, just added in there um, to, to stop that going on. Um, I'll be honest, I've never really played with this um, that much. Um, okay, so um, what we can do once we've finished filling in the report request page of our report, um, we can preview, we can print, or we can send to. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to say preview, and what this will do is it will generate my report in the Business Central Report Viewer. Um, so you'll notice now the report has been generated. We're still within Business Central, so we've not moved out of BC. And I have um, the aged accounts receivable report here on screen in front of me right now. Um, so I can use this little bar at the bottom here just to move through the different areas of the report. So if I want to go from page one to page two, I can use the little arrows here. I can zoom in and zoom out using these buttons here. So I can zoom in. And zoom out. Uh, if I want to fit to page um, on uh, on the window width, I can do it that way. I can also do it lengthways as well. Um, I can use the select text function. So this is similar to sort of what you get um, within um, um, your sort of PDF views and stuff, and then you can copy and paste and so on. Um, you do have um, the pan the document option, which you can use to drag and drop, but you can then just scroll at the same time there. And final two here, um, I can download to file. So that will literally give me a, a PDF, as you can see up at the top here. Um, I can open or I can save. I'm just going to cancel that. And finally, on here, I can print if I want to as well. So um, I don't have any printers set up on this particular environment, but I can print to um, PDF. So if I just click print there, it gives me my um, print to um, sort of PDF, um, or I can choose a printer there if I want to as well. Um, okay, so um, I can use the X here to exit out of the report that's been generated. And what this will do is it will just take me back to the report request page. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do here is I'm going to toggle the print details. So I'm just going to go back to the options area of my report and I'm going to change one of the options here. So I'm going to say print details. And let me say preview again. Um, and this time it's going to run the same report, but you'll notice it looks a little bit different in that I've got my uh, my invoices, my detail behind each of the customers, whereas previously print details wasn't selected and um, I didn't get that. So um, I guess guys have a play with the, the reports that you guys might run on a frequent basis, obviously in a sandbox environment first. I'm not going to run through each one here, but you get the idea. It just changes the way the report looks based on what we select here. 
Now, just coming back to the bottom, I do have the print option, so I can select print directly. And what this will do is it will print my report to my default printer, which is print to PDF. Um, so it's very much the same thing as previewing the report and then printing it. Um, but this time I directly said print and uh, it printed to PDF. So let me cancel and I'm just going to go back to my aged accounts receivable and just run through the final section that we have here, which is send to. Um, and this is a function which allows us to send to different file types. So I can send my aged accounts receivable to a PDF document, XML, Word, Microsoft Excel with the data and the layout, or Microsoft Excel with the data only. Um, so it's just about choosing the correct option for us here. Um, and then we can go ahead and press OK and we'll get our report layout. So I just said um, PDF there. And what this is going to do is it's going to generate my report and I'm just going to open my report this time. And what this does is it opens in another tab in my browser. Um, so we are now outside of Business Central. We're in my default PDF viewer and we've got my aged accounts receivable report here. So I've now got all the functionality that I've got within my PDF viewer. Obviously, you guys might use uh, another one, but uh, I just view um, PDFs in my in my browser. OK, and uh, one last option here, if I come into aged accounts receivable one more time, um, what I can do is say send to and schedule. Um, and what this does is if um, you want to do this, I mean, uh, if a report might take um, a, a long time to run, you can hit the schedule option here and this will allow the report to run in the background. Um, and you can pick that up later in um, your home screen on your report inbox. Um, it will just generate and, uh, and send to there. Um, so just show you sort of what that looks like. So if I go into schedule, I say OK. Um, I'm presented with a, a schedule, uh, a report page, and I'm not going to change anything on there. I'm just going to say OK. But I can, if I want to, just change the output version of the, the report there. If, uh, if I wanted to see that in a different format, I can say OK. And what this will do then, it, was, uh, it will just give me a, a notice to say the report has been scheduled. Um, I'm guessing that goes into the job queue in the background. and. Uh, it says it will appear in the report inbox part when it is completed. Um, and if we uh, just give it a second there on my home screen, I'm going to scroll down to my report inbox. So that is where um, this report will eventually generate. You can obviously move this around to uh, the top of your screen, you know, if you want it to be more visible when you initially log in. But what I'm going to do is just hit F5 on my keyboard. And you'll notice um, that the aged accounts receivable report there has generated. And what I can then do is I can go in and sorry, I can just click that and it will allow me to open that up within my browser. And if I want to, I can also delete that as well. So I can highlight and I can say delete and it's gone. OK, so that's everything that I wanted to show you on this video. I hope you found that useful. Um, just have a play with some of the different reports that you might have in uh, in your environment. Bear in mind, you may have reports um, which are bespoke to you guys as well. Um, but in a sandbox environment, just jump in, have a play and uh, see what you think. And uh, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.